Hello everyone, I'm Ken, and welcome back to the Thrifty Apprentice Studio. I hope that everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving, and you're gearing yourselves up for this busy holiday shopping season. Okay, in today's video, we are going to take a look at Artist Loft watercolor paints. Although Artist Loft is a house brand for Michael's Craft Store, you can also source these paints on Amazon.com. Uh, we are going to be reviewing the 12-2, 12, 12 milliliter set, for which I will include a link in the video description. Uh, please be aware that I am not an affiliate for any store or chain. My videos are not sponsored at this point, and all of the opinions in this video are completely my own. All right, guys. Upon first glance at the box, we can see that it is pretty generic. Uh, there is no light fast or pigment information listed on the box, nor is there any listed on the tubes. I did do some research and some digging around to see if I would be able to obtain some for this particular video, but unfortunately I was not able to. I even watched a couple of other reviews on YouTube on this particular paint, and from what I have heard and seen, no one knows or has been able to source the um, pigment information or the light fast information for these paints. Um, however, the box does say that these are a high quality pigmented color paint with a smooth consistency and with great coverage. The box also lists all three, I'm sorry, all 12 colors in the set in three different languages. Uh, let's just run through those colors right quick. We do have lemon yellow, uh, yellow ochre, vermilion, crimson red, cobalt blue, Persian blue, viridian, violet, burnt sienna, burnt umber, lamp black, and Chinese white. Now, we did use Artist Loft, if you guys remember, um, in the video lesson 103, Wet on Wet and Wet on Dry, which was the last video uploaded on this channel. Um, I've also done several other paintings with this brand as to prepare myself to be uh, able to speak more in depth about the painting for this particular video. I'm just going to slide those over and try to get all of these in frame for you guys. So <clears throat> this is a painting that I did not too long after getting the Artist Loft paints. Um, I just, this one is me following a tutorial by Lindsay the Frugal Crafter. Um, she has a channel here on YouTube. I've spoken about her in previous videos. She's a wonderful instructor. So if you guys have a chance, run over and check her channel out. Uh, but I did this particular painting following a tutorial by Lindsay. And I think it turned out really well. On watercolor paper, the paints are very vibrant and bright. And they are really pretty. Um, these two particular ones, which you see are very similar, are the projects from the last video I uploaded on this channel, Lesson 103. This was the reference card that I did beforehand. And this particular one is the card that was actually done in the video. I'm going to try my best to link that particular video um, where I'm actually doing the painting to this video and a picture on picture. Hopefully I'll be able to do that during the editing process. If I can't, guys, just forgive me, but this is a review video. So I do want to try to link that so you guys can kind of glance up in the corner and watch how the paints work. If not, please feel free to jump on back after watching this video and watch the previous video uploaded on this channel, Lesson 103, so you can actually see um, the Artist Loft paints in action. Let's see, um, taking a look at the swatches. Uh, we see right off that these paints are indeed vibrant and bright they are they are absolutely beautiful um i really honestly believe that they are more semi-transparent to opaque than transparent i mean i almost thought i was swatching a gouache <laughs> originally um because they just seem so rich and deep 
um, other great qualities that I discovered while using these paints is that they bleed well when they're introduced to water. They have a really nice texture. They reactivate well on paper and in the palette, and they actually lift really well. Here is another painting that I did. Uh, this was a landscape, a landscape painting that I was doing, just trying to get a feel for how the paints would operate in a wet on wet environment, then letting it dry and seeing how they would actually layer, how they would lift out when I tried to lift them out, um, how I was able to, would be able to change the value with colors and actually how many colors I could mix together with layers before the paint started to get muddy. So I did quite a bit of experimenting with this paint. So those are some of the good qualities about the paint. Um, now, with every pro, there comes a con. So on the flip side, the paints are actually rather chalky. Um, and you can tell that they are full of fillers, um, some type of chalky filler, maybe like white has been added to each pigment in order to make it more vibrant, um, almost neon-y. <clears throat> Um, the paints did crack badly when I dried them down in a palette. I'll just let you guys see. And you could also kind of see this in the previous video that I did when I showed you guys these were the paints that I would be using. Um, the paints, once I actually put them down in the palette after they had the chance to dry, they cracked tremendously. And I actually added a couple of drops of glycerin um, to each one of these, when I first put them in the palette out the tube, I watched a couple of YouTube videos and saw some recommendations that using glycerin or honey um, would be really good for helping to keep the paints from crack, cracking. And I had some glycerin on hand, so I jumped on up and put some in here. And of course, they still cracked, and they cracked really bad, if you guys can see that. However, they reactivate really well, and that hasn't done anything as far as affecting the vibrancy or the way they operate when I use them um, in a wet-on-wet -wet environment. The way they bleed, um, the cracking did not hinder any of that. But I do think that's something you guys may want to keep in mind if, you, if this is something that you're considering purchasing. Uh, let's see. What else? The paints are rather flat when they dry. Um, although, as you guys can see from the video, if you can see the video or when you go back and watch the previous video, that they are actually really wet. I'm sorry, bright and vibrant when wet. But they do kind of lose just a little luster when they dry down. Uh, the paints do smudge when they dry. Um, and they will transfer because I actually did this painting as I showed you guys earlier in my sketchbook and some of the residue has transferred onto the page opposite. So they will transfer once they dry because of the chalkiness and, beca chalkiness and because of the fillers in it. Um, these colors are definitely more opaque than they are transparent. Although you can kind of see through them, they're not as transparent as other watercolors that I've seen. And then they also kind of offer a slight resistance to layering. Um, they want to lift more than they want to layer. That is something else that I discovered while using them. By the way, Beridian looks a lot like phthalo green to me. And I'm not a paint expert at this point. I am still learning. I'm still in the beginning stages as far as I'm concerned. Um, however, I do do a lot of research. I do do a lot of reading. And I have started to study colors in depth. And green is one of my favorite colors. And that just doesn't look like a Viridian to me. It looks like a phthalo green. But hey, what do I know? I don't take my word for it. Overall, uh, I don't think that for the price that these are a terrible set of paints. Um, they may be geared more towards scrapbookers or maybe card makers. Not that that's a bad thing at all, 
Uh, I definitely would not use them for commission painting or showing that uh, that I was going to put up on a wall that was constantly going to be exposed to light. However, at the price point of five dollars, and after you consider the fact that Michaels typically use a forty percent coupon, you can typically use a forty percent coupon, or they're running twenty percent off of your total purchase, including clearance. There are times when they have 50% coupons. There are times when they have 60% coupons. So you can always find these paints on sale at Michael's. So when you think about average pricing after coupon being $5, um, they might not be the worst buy that you can make. However, um, when you compare these paints to other paints that we've reviewed on this channel, um, that are in the $5 price range, for instance, like the De La Roni Simply line or the Royal and Lang Nickel um, Essentials line, you might as well run out and pick up Royal and Lang Nickel, um, which is going to be a much more transparent paint for you to work with. And it's going to work better with layering um, and not getting muddy as you mix and as you layer colors. And it's also bright and vibrant as well. All right, guys, so that is our quick look into Artist Loft. Uh, do I recommend them? Sure, for the beginner, for someone who does maybe doesn't have access to getting a better quality paint that's in the same price range, then sure, I would recommend them. However, if you can get your hand, like I said, if you can get your hands on Royal and Lang Nickel, and the only reason I keep referring to that one is because it's, one of the ones that we've reviewed on this channel. I'm trying not to refer to anything I haven't reviewed yet. So uh, I do just think that Royal and Lane Nickel would probably be a better choice. Not to say that these are a terrible choice. Guys, thank you so much for joining me here. Uh, it was fun as always. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit that bell and subscribe. Send a friend on over to the page and tell them to subscribe so they can join us here in the studio. Jump on over to the Facebook page and hit that like button at the Thrifty Apprentice Facebook page. Feel free to comment, discuss, share your views any findings that you have, anything that you may have experienced. If you've used this paint, do you like it? Don't you like it? The comment section is open, and I'm always here to chit-chat with you guys. All right, guys, until I see you here the next time, just keep painting, just keep painting, just keep painting, just keep painting.